What would Shrek be without the character Donkey? What would Nativity be without the hit song, Hey Dude, Where's My Donkey? And what would a party be without a good old game of pin the towel on the donkey? See, donkeys have shaped the society that we live in, but unfortunately, their time is running out. But how have we made it to this point? Ejiao is used in traditional Chinese medicine. It's a hard gel that dissolves in hot water to be used in food, drinks and beauty products. It's believed to improve blood circulation so people with anemia tend to use it. It's often hidden under a few different names such as donkey oil, donkey hide gelatin, arse hide glue and donkey glue. See, the thing is, the demand for Ejiao has increased dramatically over the past 20 years. And with this, the demand for donkeys has increased too. But why? Ejiao is made by boiling and stewing donkey skin and with each skin that's used, that's one less donkey roaming free in the wild. Let's take a look at the numbers. See, in 2000, there was 11 million donkeys roaming free in China. Compared to today when there's roughly around 6 million, that loss is almost the same as the entire population of Scotland just disappearing. To keep up with the demand for Ejiao, China are using 10 million donkey skins every year. So, where are all these extra donkeys coming from? Well, in Kenya, donkeys are being stolen from their owners before being smuggled over borders illegally. They're crammed into tiny transport vehicles where they're forced to stand in claustrophobic environments for up to two days. Unfortunately, not all of the donkeys survive this trip. And if they do, they're in very poor health. Once they arrive, they're held in holding facilities known as donkey abattoirs. And from this point on, they are beaten and abused until they're ready to be killed and skinned. At the current rate that this is happening, it's projected that Kenya's donkey population will be wiped out by the year 2023. This cannot continue. In China, there are currently no nationwide laws that prevent the mistreatment of animals. So the production of a gyro will continue at its rampant rate. However, there is a small silver lining. In February of 2020, Kenya officially banned the commercial slaughter of donkeys. But we can't stop here. It does not end here. We must continue to take action.